Good evening. My name is Lucy Ochaki. I'm Tours by Design with West Hartford Continuing Education. And uh, this is my monthly show for June. And I wanted to share some information with you regarding trips we have coming up with the Continuing Ed program. And uh, I wanted to thank Community Television for taping this show uh, for the trips and uh, sharing information with the community about the trips. Um, I have been with the Continuing Ed program for 21 years, uh, coordinating trips for the Adult Ed program. And uh, I relish the opportunity of coming on the show and telling you all about the trips we have coming up with Continuing Ed. Um, I'm someone who really loves travel and I really love the school system and these, what they have allowed me to do. Uh, everything I've always wanted to do with travel and are very supportive and very encouraging of the trips that I coordinate. And I call it a tour by design because I'm very much into the, the planning and the research and bringing you on trips to educational sites and museums and ball games and days on your own. And I specialize in the New York City area, the Boston area. I do trips to Newport on a regular basis and have really expanded uh, the trips that I have done with the program over the years. I started with one trip years ago. I walked into the office and I said, you know, I'd really like to do a trip. And they said, go ahead. So their support has been really tremendous uh, with uh, me, the, re the 21 years I've been doing that. And I've also, at the same time, uh, expanded into uh, coordinating trips with Farmington Adult Ed and then years ago they merged their program so that you can register with either program. However, the show is really for the community and I've had tremendous support so I wanted to share with you the uh, trips I have coming up for the summer and fall that we have now scheduled so that you can do some planning in advance and I can share that information about great things to do. So. The first trip, uh, since this program will be uh, film, is filmed in May for June, the first trip I have coming up is on June 23rd. Uh, this is a trip I do yearly. Uh, this is about my 17th year going to Newport for the Newport Flower Show. And the Preservation Society of Newport County does a tremendous job of uh, keeping the mansions in great shape for visitors to visit on a regular basis year round. We have done amazing flower shows and it is at the Rosecliff Mansion, which is on Bellevue Avenue, which is where the major mansions are located. And the Rosecliff, uh, the, one of the previous owners of Rosecliff uh, what invented the American Beauty Rose. So when you come to the Newport Flower Show, you see a great selection um, of American Beauty Roses of various colors, shapes, just absolutely gorgeous. Their theme this year is small cottages. So in addition to the huge mansions that you do visit that chronicles the Gilded Age in Newport, well, these were summer homes. And the uh, wealthy denizens spent maybe eight or 12 weeks there, such as the Breakers. Uh, they spent about 12 weeks there a year in addition to the other homes they had. Uh, they spent time there. The Rose Cliff is one of the, the nicest of, of the nice. Um, it is built, uh, the inspiration for the Rose Cliff Mansion is the Grand Trianon at Versailles. So it is a very much French inspired, French architecture, French decor, which was very au courant at the time. So we spend the morning at the Newport Flower Show and it is a, um, a terrific amount of time there. We, we spend from about 9.30 to 1.30, and then there is time for uh, the uh, day on your own part of Newport, which uh, you can visit the wharf area. You could do some strolling, browsing, shopping in that area. It's a very, uh, very beautiful area, very welcoming. The visitor center has a lot of great information about cruises you can take, tours you can also take. There is the Museum of Newport History, which is nearby. The Brick Walk has some wonderful shops. Uh, you just spend a splendid day between the lectures and the tours at the flower show and the other 
museums and historic sites. You could take a, a walk of the historic wharf area also during that day. They give you a lot of great information about things that you can do in Newport that day. Please do come with us. We have openings right now. Um, I have regulars who come every year who totally enjoy uh, the area. Uh, there's a great shuttle you can take around town, which will take you to various sites. Uh, it really is a beautiful day, and I totally look forward to it every year. So that is on June 23rd. Uh, the next trip I have coming up after that is on July 7th. Uh, this is my 19th annual trip to the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. And this is a, a really a special trip. Lady Liberty is looking as good as ever. And we uh, drop you off at Battery Park. And what you do is you take the ferry over to the statue. We have tickets to visit the base of the statue. It's a time ticket. You can also visit the museum, which has the original uh, crown and the history of France's gift to the United States. Um, and we um, visit the base of the statue, which, is w which has a wonderful view of New York Harbor. And you can spend time there taking a National Park Service tour. The tour rangers have uh, a multitude of tours throughout the day that you can take so you can spend some time on your own and take a nice tour. There's an audio guide also included in the trip which will give you a great uh, history of the statue and a lot of great information for that day. Uh, then you can board the ferry to go over to Ellis Island which is the Immigration Museum and what you can do there is scroll through, spend a few hours. You can look up your family history. There are staff there who can help you. You can go on a computer find out when your ancestors came. And it's said that 40% of Americans are descended from those who came to Ellis Island, which was open from the 1880s to 18, 1953. So you can take that um, with you and you can take tours. There is a wonderful muse museum um, outside the Immigrant Wall of Honor. You can visit, you can make a donation to the Ellis Island Foundation and have your name placed on the statue. Uh, your family name when they, if they were immigrants. Uh, even if they weren't, you can also do that. Uh, the National Park Service does great tours and they have a wonderful movie called Island of Hope, Island of Tears, which chronicles the immigrants visit to the island and tells you about what they experienced when they came to America and how they moved on to build their lives in America. So it's a wonderful tour. We have um, openings still at this time and you can call the program and register. I'll give you that registration information later. Um, on June 29th uh, we have our annual trip to the Red Sox and the Yankees at Yankee Stadium this year. Again we have wonderful seats in center field and we have really enjoyed the next chapter of this ancient rivalry. Um, and I hope you can make it. We have a wait list presently for this trip. You can call the program, be on the wait list. Uh, we uh, will certainly call you. The way our wait list works with the program is if somebody cannot make it to the trip, they will automatically call you to uh, see if you are still interested, register you. So if you are on a wait list, you certainly have a, a, a possibility of going on the trip. So I encourage you if you are interested, um, we still have some time. Um, it's a great trip to um, see the ancient rivalry. The next trip we have coming up after that is we have a whale watch to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Uh, we have contracted with a great company called Captain John's Boats, which takes us out um, to Stellwagen Bank, which is the best area on the East Coast to see the whales. And we have had some fabulous whale watches. We have gone in the spring, we've gone in the fall. We found summer is really the best time to see the, the best possible viewing of the whales. Uh, we give you a little bit of time on your own to have um, a little bit to eat. There's a couple of um, fish, wonderful fish restaurants uh, right on the wharf that you can visit. And some nice shopping you can do in Plymouth. It's a really lovely town to visit and we very, very much enjoy it. So we go out to, we, we go out for about an hour to see the whales, and then we're out there for about four hours, then they come back, so there's plenty of time for viewing, and a really nice day out on the water. So I hope you can come to that. And that is uh, 
it as far as the summer and in the fall we have some wonderful trips coming up and the first one coming up um, is on October 13th and this is the 9-11 Museum in New York City uh, and the memorial. Uh, what we have is a timed admission to the museum and what you can do is go through and um, find out the history or of that momentous historic day and I feel like when we go there we do honor those who who perished that day we honor their memory uh, there is a there are tours you can pick up that day you can pick up an audio guide for the tour you can also go online and download an audio guide for the 9-11 museum prior to the trip if you'd like but we have openings for that and the whole area around the 9-11 museum has been really revitalized and renewed since the attack. Uh, there is also the Freedom Tower you can also visit at the same time. There's some um, excellent shopping and some uh, good restaurants nearby which you could also visit during your free time. But I encourage you to come because it really is a moving trip. Um, the memorial is very moving. It is um, the uh, reflecting pools are, are the base, uh, where the base of the Twin Towers were, which is a very peaceful and serene uh, visit to to come so I hope you can come with us this fall to honor those uh, who experienced that day and the next trip we have coming up is the Culinary Institute of America and the Vanderbilt Mansion in Hyde Park New York uh, what we do is we do an annual fall foliage trip to that area the Hyde Park is a lovely town uh, the Vanderbilt Mansion has been restored and renovated uh, as of last year. So this is a first trip back. We, we did a trip some years back and this is a totally uh, new renovation. So we're very excited to be going to this. Um, Frederick Vanderbilt was um, a self-made um, wealthy uh, entrepreneur. Um, he did not inherit the wealth of the other Vanderbilts. So it's very interesting how he struck out on his own and uh, achieved great wealth on his own. Uh, so that's an interesting story for the Vanderbilts and also we visit the Culinary Institute of America and we have had some terrific lunches there uh, in previous years and this year we'll be visiting the American Bounty restaurant which is the seasonal restaurant. We have a very nice menu uh, set up for you. Uh, we have a, a really nice time there. It is the culinary school um, in America and we have had some fine meals. The meals are served by their students and basically the uh, CIA restaurants are run by these students and it's basically like their final paper, their final uh, tr uh, uh, experience before they graduate. So it's like really interesting to, uh, to see their progress and their growth over the years. And we have a very nice, we have a very nice restaurant um, experience there. Also there is a apple pie bakery where you can bring home some goodies. So I always need to mention that, that uh, you can, uh, call them in advance, order something to take home. And they have a, a very, very fine uh, bakery there. So you can also um, enjoy their goodies uh, when, when you return home. And after the CIA, our next trip is uh, one of the most fabulous events I think we will ever have. And that is the Metropolitan Opera, which is my favorite. Our program, our great opera aficionados, and we'll be offering tickets to the orchestra section for Carmen, which is one of the most popular, if not the most popular opera there is. And my interest in opera started with Carmen. Um, I've had a, a course with Farmington continuing at years ago where we went to what was then the Connecticut Opera. We had a class and had um, a trip to the opera after the class. So we found out about the plot. But Carmen is one of those fantastic popular operas and we'll be going on a Saturday. It is a matinee, it is at one o'clock and we uh, arrive in time for you to have a bite to eat prior to and we leave right after the opera. So if you are an opera aficionado, please, you know, uh, this sells out every single year. We have a lot of great um, opera fans in our program who have come year after year. So if you are interested in this, please, please register early so you will not be disappointed. And we have, as I said, great orchestra seats for the, the opera. And on 
The 10th of November, we will be visiting the Union Square Green Market for a wonderful trip. I call it the Further Foodie Finds uh, trip. It is my second foodie trip. And what we do, we, we visit the Union Square Green Market and I share with you some great information about the stands and the producers there. The farmers come from six states. The Union Square Green Market is the largest and best green market in the city and they have producers come from over six states on a regular basis and I will share with you the best places to pick up if you are a cook, if you're an aspiring cook. Um, it is a great um, chock full of wonderful produce. It has fish, it has cheeses, it has baked goods, uh, vegan uh, goods galore. Uh, they have producers from all over who bring the best quality produce to the city. And then what we do is we head to Little Italy in Chinatown, which, is, or, which are two of my favorite places in New York in that there are two wonderful Italian stores on Grand Street, which had been there for, one of them has been there for about five generations. It's called DePalos, and I call them the bookends. You have Oliva and you have DePalos on Grand Street. And what they do is it, they have wonderful fresh pastas, imported pastas, olive oils, balsamic vinegars, they have cheeses from every region of Italy. This is a store where the owners have had working relationships with Italian producers for several generations and bring you the best quality goods. It is chock full of amazing products from Italy. Uh, they have uh, prepared goods. They have breads. They have a wine store next door if you're looking for a particular Italian wine. They are sure to have it from every region of Italy. And what I do is I prep you before to tell you what are the best products to buy here, including my favorite pasta. So please sign up and you'll find out the best pasta from Italy. You will find out what the best olive oils are, the best balsamic vinegars. You'll find out the best cheeses, the best quality products directly from Italy. And they are all authentic uh, products. This is the Italian store you want to shop at. Uh, this is the one you want to be educated. They are very, very good with education at DePaulo. They want you to know everything that is good about Italian products, and they are very generous with sampling. So you can sample galore before you bring on your prosciutto, your Parmigiano Reggiano, your wonderful olive oils, your balsamic vinegars, your wonderful gravy for your family. <laughs> this is a, a great store. Uh, we also visit Chinatown, and there's a wonderful store on uh, Canal Street called Kaman, which has Asian goods from all over Asia and is the largest Asian grocery store on the East Coast. And we thoroughly enjoy visiting for the dim sum in Chinatown and the Italian restaurants. And I share with you a great uh, Spanish store nearby on Broome Street. Uh, which I discovered a few years ago, which has great Spanish products. In addition, you're also close to the Lower East Side, so you can visit Katz's, you can visit that area there for um, those high quality goods there. And uh, you know, please come, because we, we very much enjoy it. We have a very, very good time. So on the 23rd of November, which is the Friday after Thanksgiving, which is like the craziest shopping day in the, in the world, uh, we'll be visiting Woodbury Common. Um, this is an outlet that is an hour away from Manhattan, which has some of the best outlets from the best designers in the city. And it has wonderful, uh, wonderful buys. It has a wonderful off sacks, Neiman Marcus, Crate and Barrel. Then it has a lot of the specialty stores that only have like one outlet and this is the only place they have an outlet. Some of the best designers in the city have one outlet and it is a, a fantastic uh, place to visit. If you like to shop to your drop, you should come with us. So we will have a nice full bus full of happy shoppers. You'll come home with a lot of great products, a lot of great clothing, uh, really a great trip. I'm, I'm looking forward to this because we have had this trip in years past and it's been like a great experience. The last two trips um, I wanted to share with you, New York City on your own. This is the first Saturday in December. This is a trip we do on a yearly basis. We have an extended day in the city. We come back at nine o'clock. So if you have a Broadway show you'd like to visit 
and see, enjoy the Radio City show. You like to shop till you drop that day. Um, that's the day to do it. Um, if you're looking to visit a museum for the holiday, visit relatives, this is a great day to do it. And um, we enjoy thoroughly. It's, it's an insane day, but we really enjoy it. On the 4th of December, we have orchestra seats to the Radio City. This is my 19th year of visiting Radio City, the holiday show. And we have a full bus. I think we have half a full bus already. So if you're interested in this, please register early because we do sell out. And it has Santa. It has a living nativity scene. It has the wonderful skits, the Rockettes. Um, they put on a fabulous show every single year. There's time on your own for a little bit of lunch prior to the show. The show runs 90 minutes. We leave right after the show, so give you time to see the holiday tree, see the wonderful uh, holiday stores, displays. Uh, it is a, just a great trip. So please continue. At, please call Continuing Ed at 860-561-6900 to register for these trips. If you have any questions about these trips, you can email me at toursbydesign at gmail.com and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have about the trips. And if you have suggestions about trips you'd like to do, please feel free to contact me through the program. They'd be happy to pass that on to me and let me know uh, what you are interested in. And please uh, keep coming. We enjoy it. And we will be adding more trips for the fall. We have just come out with our catalog for the next round. It will be coming to your homes. By the time you see this, you will have received these in your home. Um, and we will be registering people um, on a regular basis. Um, so please uh, call the program for any of these and we uh, will continue to update you on a monthly basis for the trip. And if you see this, uh, please come by the uh, Celebrate West Hartford. I will be there on Sunday um, to answer any questions that you may have. Uh, again, the West Hartford Community Television is for you, for your information, for your enjoyment, for your pleasure. And the staff here has been really wonderful to to deal with. Also, um, there are trips I wanted to mention. We'll be doing a separate tape for this is uh, the Weathersfield Adult Ed has signed on to some of these trips for the, for the fall. So I will be doing a separate uh, tape for them and sending it over to those folks in that area there. So I thank Community Television for, uh, for that time in doing that. And we look forward to seeing you in the summer and the fall and uh, be adding. Uh, more and uh, enjoying it. So I will be signing off and again thanking West Hartford Community Television. I'm Lucy Ochaki, Tours by Design. Uh, tour away, uh, travel as much as you can, enjoy every single day that you are away and keep coming. So thank you again and signing off. Music